All right, so today we are gonna be doing a proper showcase for the new AGL Super Saiyan Trunks at Rainbow Status. And yes, this time we're actually gonna be getting the Super Saiyan transformation because in my Entrusted Will team showcase a few days ago, I was not able to satisfy this guy's active skill conditions no matter how hard I tried. And I think that's mainly because this Trunks, while being amazing, does have one pretty big design flaw, in my opinion, and that by no means is a deal breaker. He's still very, very good. It's just, I wish, uh, you know, his kit was a little bit different, but we'll talk about that in more detail a little bit later in the video. So with that said, let's jump in here. The team is, once again, Android slash Cell Saga and Entrusted Will. But this time I did bring a slightly weaker team, at least offensively, just so we can keep the enemies alive for long enough to see the transformation. And uh, the event is Super Class Only Extreme Super Battle Road. So on this first rotation, we have the Friend Trunks, which is the rainbow one, linked up with the Tech Transforming Trunks and also the new Fizz Goku. And even though the AGL Trunks does not have a lot of defense, before he supers. Um, I think we can still put him in that first slot since there's only one SDR attack there. And I'm going to start by popping a Princess Snake. And let's go for, well, usually I would go for type advantage, right? But maybe we should go for type disadvantage so that we do less damage and uh, increase our chances further to get the Super Saiyan transformation. Okay, so for the Trunks, I'm not gonna do that, but I'm gonna do that for everybody else. So for example, the tech trunks, we'll go for Sorbet here. And then for Goku, I guess we'll go for Sashimi. Okay, let's get it. Let's see what uh, happens here with the first attacks. Uh, 3.6 mil is the first super for the rainbow trunks. Not bad, not bad. This is without support as well. So um, I think that's actually pretty decent. And we got a couple of additional attacks here, but no additional supers, which is good. Because we don't actually want to do that much damage, if we can help it. And hopefully this Trunks does not get a crit, because we don't actually want to do damage once again. So that was... Ooh, a lot of damage that Trunks took right there. So one concern might be that we have some issues staying alive as well with this team which is not something I considered before I jumped in. Um, but either way, we got four attacks off. We only need two more attacks from the trunks. Yo, why is Goku going off right now? <laughs> I mean, this, he's really good. This new Goku, if you guys didn't know, is fantastic. But we're not really here to watch him go off right now. We're here for the AGL trunks. Okay, so um, once again, I'm trying to not do too much damage. So let's go for Sorbet with the Tech Gohan. With the Int Gohan, I guess we'll, um, I mean, Sorbet again. And then STR Trunks, let's go for Frieza since we have Type Disadvantage there. And I'm actually kind of concerned about Frieza supering Trunks. That would actually really suck. We still have the Icarus active, but one thing that I don't love about Trunks as well is that his, um, what do you call it? His active, oh sorry, his leader skill is 130% to HP, right? So your team's actually gonna be relatively squishy no matter what. And as a result, you know, sometimes if you take a really bad super, you could just get one shot. Like this team right now has less than 400k HP, which is really low. Or like this day and age, right, for the current meta, under 150k HP, or sorry, what am I saying? Under 400k HP is like nothing. Okay, so now we're back here and, uh, ooh, this might be a bit of a problem. This might be a bit of a problem. Uh, let me think about this for a second. So I'm definitely going to pop a Princess Snake first. That is important. And then, uh, you know what? It might be smarter to actually go like this. 
I think that's actually a little bit safer. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And all I really care about, honestly, right now is getting, um, getting two more attacks off with the, oh crap, you know what? I messed up there. My bad, guys. I was supposed to let the uh, friend trunks stay in rotation and take my trunks out of rotation. So we're gonna just do a quick reset here. My apologies. But essentially what my thinking is right now is um, I don't really care about doing damage. I just want to get two attacks off with the friend trunks who already has four attacks and then um, you know keep hopefully both or at least one of these guys alive for the next two turns so that when we come back again we can pop the active skill uh, you know for the friend trunks and then get the super saiyan transformation off right so um, I'm gonna go like this yeah we're gonna pop the princess snake again and then Let's go for Togoma. I'm gonna give just a few orbs here. Actually, I don't want to get supers off. And there we go, okay. So if we take a super now from Frieza, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, Togoma actually might hurt us a bit, but no, we're okay. We're fine. All right, so there's the friend trunks, one attack. Second one, okay. And you can stop there if you want. You can stop there if you want. Oh, that's good. That's fine. Yeah, we're, we're chilling. Mm, okay, okay. One more attack. No problem. No problem. Now, my my trunks might actually go off a little bit here. He didn't. That's actually great. That's, that's what I wanted. That was actually a perfect turn. And now... Ooh. Uh, okay, this could get tricky. Um, let's pop a Icarus first. And hmm, the good thing is there's no attacks on the future Gohan. Uh, let's go. Just uh, is there a way to actually not super with the tech Gohan? I'm not sure. So let's do this actually. Yeah, let's do it like that, and then I'll just give a few orbs to him. I'm gonna give just two orbs to the tech Gohan, and then it looks like we're gonna have to attack, or super attack with the Goku regardless. Now I know this is not the most fun way to do the showcase, it's not the most fun way to, um, you know, run this event, but hopefully it's allowed you to see my main problem, my main criticism of the new trunks, and that's the fact that on Super Battle Road, on Extreme Super Battle Road, where you really want to um, you know, get that active skill transformation and benefit the most from the Trunks' Super Saiyan transformation, it's really hard to satisfy the conditions. It's really hard to keep the enemies alive for long enough to actually be able to pop the active skill. And we finally, finally got it here after, I don't know, like, <laughs> how long, you know, like it's been, what, five turns now? But it just takes such a long time, so much setup, so much purposeful um, sabotaging, basically, of yourself. You know, bringing like a weaker team, you know, not getting supers and all that stuff. To actually be able to um, get the active skill. Like, I have to purposely play bad, essentially, to, to get this going. Which is not how it's supposed to be. But anyways, um, we can transform Trunks now, so let's do that real quick. Enjoy the animation. And of course, on longer events like Infinite Dragon Ball History or the Legendary Goku event, Legendary Vegeta event, um, it's really easy to get the transformation because you're, you know, able to do the event for like 10 plus turns. But the problem with that is the enemies cannot be stunned or sealed, and Trunks gets a massive, massive um, attack boost when you can stun and seal the enemy. So we stunned and sealed to Goma here, which means that we will be getting a very big boost against him. And let me just quickly check who has better links with the uh, AGL trunks. I think we want to link him with the SDR trunks. Um, or does it not really matter either way? Let me get one more link. We get one more link with the uh, STR trunks. Okay, so 
we're gonna do it like this um let me just check the defense here 144k not too bad not too bad and here we go let's uh enjoy this very hard earned transformation for these super saiyan trunks all right so getting some good tanking there and 7.2 mil attacks that guaranteed crit as well for the trunks and he's dead to go will not survive this and then we get the additional super perfect 7.8 let's go <laughs> let's go and there you have it man so it was kind of worth the wait i guess but at the same time um it's a lot of work it's a lot of work and um did i finish my thought before i don't even know if i ever finished my thought but if i didn't basically what i wanted to say is uh it's really hard yeah to get the transformation on super bad road and extreme super bad road and then on longer events like lge and so on and so forth it's easy but the enemies can't be stunned or sealed so you lose a ton of that um you know utility and also a ton of attack right you you lose the 50 percent boost from uh lowering attack you lose or sorry uh from stunning or sealing and uh, you also lose the uh, attack boost from lowering the enemy's attack and defense so it's just i don't know a kind of a weird design it's a very weird design um i know there are events coming up like the red zone event where i think you are actually able to get some more of that going but i'm not 100 percent sure actually they should just design more events where it's longer like longer form events where the enemy can be stunned and sealed and lower attack and defense you know so that we can actually get the full kit for some of these characters we can get the you know full potential of uh these characters because right now for trunks it's very hard to actually get the most out of him and for the most part i just feel like a lot of times it makes more sense to leave him untransformed you know in most events because untransformed he can launch a bunch of supers and uh oh hold on um I'm actually pretty concerned about the future Gohan in that last slot. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put the Trunks in the last slot, because I think he'll deal with those attacks much better. So, yeah, there we go. But, yeah, man, a lot of times it's just a, a better idea to leave Trunks untransformed, since he will launch a bunch of supers, he gets a Huge, huge defense boost from having multiple supers and um, you know he just seems more impressive when you factor in the uh, what I'm trying to say when you factor in the, uh, like not being able to stun or seal or lower attack and defense so yeah man um, right now Trunks is still very good but he could be a lot better but I think maybe that's not his fault I think that's maybe more so the, the lack of like good events for him you know the the designer's fault i guess or the developer's fault and hopefully that changes in the future i'm not really sure if uh, all this stuff i said made a lot of sense to you guys um if not then i apologize because my thoughts are kind of jumbled right now but the point i'm trying to get across is like he could be better that that's literally what i'm trying to say like he could be better if there were better events for him to shine in and you know if you actually can't stun or steal the enemy you might as well just leave the trunks untransformed and if you can stun and seal right or lower attack and defense then you want to transform him but there aren't really a lot of events in this game where you can actually get the transformation off right when it comes to super battle road and extreme super battle road like you're seeing just how much i'm struggling right now to get the Super Saiyan Trunks transformation. And for example, like on this phase right now, I'm just going for enemies with type disadvantage against us. And chances are, we're probably gonna clear the entire field before we're able to uh, pop the active skill and get the Super Saiyan Trunks to transform. So, okay, there's a super, ooh, 74K. Yeah, that hurt a bit, that hurt a bit. Here's the friend trunks now with the support from the str trunks 4.4 mil for the first super which is really good 
and hopefully get additional super he oh oh that's actually something that's pretty rare um a lot of times you will be seeing double supers uh it's pretty rare that you don't see at least two additional attacks with the third additional well i guess it does happen from time to time so yeah, that was a little bit rough although yo fizz heart virus goku man super impressive this guy has been super impressive for us for a side unit like a non dokkan pes unit okay uh this rotation i'm going to i'm probably just gonna leave it as is yeah i think this is fine um let's just quickly pop the princess snake there and we're gonna go for the frost uh looks like we can't get a super off with trunk so let's just give him one orb and then i'll give get these to the gohan and oh wow can't super the future gohan either so a bit of a rough board a bit of a rough rotation which actually might work to our advantage if we're trying to get the super saiyan active skill but i still don't think it's really gonna happen to be honest so there goes frost he's dead super from kaba is gonna do 35 damage hmm <laughs> All right, um, triple trunks rotation here. Uh, the friend trunks is 144k, which is actually quite good. Um, hmm. Wait, last turn did I pop Princess Snake or did I pop a Weez? I think I used Princess Snake, so that means we don't have any damage reduction items anymore. So let's pop a Android 8 to get some boosted defense. And, uh,. I'm gonna actually do this. Let's put the STR trunks in that first slot because as you guys know, the AGL trunks is definitely a significantly better slot two versus slot one unit. And I'm gonna keep going for Winnie the Pooh here. And uh, give these to my trunks. Now, I, my trunks largely has been disregarded in this showcase, but you know, a big part of that is because the friend trunks is just better. The friend trunks is at 100%, mine is at or yeah mine is at 69% so you know we're gonna focus on the friend trunks I apologize to my trunks I feel kind of bad but that's just how it goes man that's just that's just how the world works all right so we are hopefully getting four attacks here with the friend trunks okay that's three one more oh, that's guaranteed actually third one's guaranteed or sorry fourth one's guaranteed so double supers and he can just stop there you can just stop there Okay, he's launching one more super attack. <laughs> <coughs> and then there's my trunks, who's probably gonna super twice as well. And yeah, you know, for a second I thought maybe, maybe we would have had a shot to um, get the active skill again, but it's not looking great at the moment, guys, I gotta say. Oh, third super from my trunks. Yeah, all right. Okay. <sighs> okay, so let me let me take a look at this. Um, is there a way for us to? No, there's there's no way. There's no way for us to actually um keep Kaba alive. I don't think unless hmm unless. We can somehow... No, we have to super with all three guys. That's very unfortunate. Or at least super with the last two guys, and they should um, be able to take it. Oh, and there's the additional from the Tech Gohan. So this showcase is going on for much longer than it probably should, but a big part of that is because the first fight took me so long to get the Super Saiyan Trunks transformation, right? So on this last fight, I'm going to try the same thing. I'm going to try to stay uh, alive for at least five turns. Or, uh, yeah, five turns so that we can once again see the transformation. Um, yikes. Okay, this is actually not ideal. This is actually a really bad rotation as far as... The attack distribution goes um i'm gonna have to do it like this i think because i do not trust the int gohan 
to take a super from Rosé. Uh, so yeah, all right, we'll do it like this. Um, let's go for, I guess we'll go for Rosé, because he has a lot, more de uh, a lot more HP. There we go. I doubt we'll be able to get the active skill again. It's just so hard, it's just so rare. And if you play properly, if you play normally, then yeah, chances are you're just not gonna gonna see it. And you can argue like, oh, some people might have weaker teams, but <laughs> if you're, you know, like staying in a single fight on Extreme Turbo Battle Road for that long, there's a good chance, right, that you'll actually die. You'll actually get killed before um, you're able to, you know, see the a oh. Did we just do a token attack? Hold on just a minute. Did we? Was that a token attack? It must have been because we hit both guys. I did... did I hit the orbs or did I just miss it completely? I think I might have missed it completely. <laughs> I missed all seven. That's a first. That is a first, but I just literally did not see it. So yeah, we are going to get these guys out of here. Um, there was no chance. There was there was no chance. I mean, nothing I can. I, there's literally nothing I can do um, right now that can keep these guys alive for three more turns. So I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna just uh, try to take them out as quickly as possible. You know, in the showcase as uh, soon as we can, since this video is going very long. And let me know in the comments if you guys uh, agree with my assessment of this Trunks. You know, I think he's an excellent unit. I think especially in his uh, base form right now, before transformation, he is really impressive. His Super Saiyan form can be crazy. You know, he can get some mad numbers, like some wild numbers on that super attack, especially with the guaranteed crit. But it's really hard to get on events where you actually can take, a full, take full advantage of it. And then on events where... Um, you know, you're able to get it easily, you can't take full advantage of that Super Saiyan transformation, so you might as well just keep him untransformed, if that makes sense. So, there you have it, guys. That is the 100% Trunks, um, Super Battle Road, uh, showcase, <laughs> and at the very least, we got the transformation one time. I'm pretty happy we were able to make that happen. But it's really not worth the, the effort right now because I could have actually beat the stage a lot faster if I wasn't going for that. And I just wanted you guys to see like what the Super Saiyan Trunks is capable of, capable of if you actually get off his you know, transformation on a Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, and uh, events like that. You could also do it for like a Dokkan event, but for a lot of Dokkan events I've also found it's hard to get. But it's definitely much more possible. But then now, these days, a lot of final bosses in Dokkan events also have, um, you know, cancellation of stuns, cancellation of uh, of seals. You know, they can't be attack lowered, can't be defense lowered. So it's kind of the same situation as, you know, the Legendary Goku event and stuff like that, where you just can't really take full advantage of the Super Saiyan transformation. So we need more events, Bandai. Bandai Spies, if you're watching, we need more events in this game where we can take advantage of units like this who re rely on stuns, seals, attack and defense lowering to get their full kit, their full passive. And uh, we need longer events like that because, you know, sometimes you need multiple turns to actually get a transformation or an active skill or whatever may be the case. That is my request. Let me know if you guys feel the same. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Uh, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.